Good morning everybody, it's March 9th. I just wanted to talk real briefly about the MT5 meter. You may have noticed that I have voltmeters on my solar generator and that's so I can peek in the van and to see where my batteries are at. But I have this MT5 meter to get a more detailed report on my solar system. And so I just wanted to show you uh, this really quickly. Here I have 200 amp hours on my batteries. Or, you know, this used to be 100 when I had one battery. And in order to set that, I would hit set. This little tool icon would pop up, and I would uh, use these arrows to increment up or down accordingly. But right now I have two batteries. 200 amp hours, so I'm going to set that, and that's what that is. I'm going to move forward, and I'm going to get back to that one later in a minute. I just want to show you still about the batteries, so let me find it. Right here it says type, and mine are sealed batteries. So let me go through, hit set, the tool icon pops up, There, uh, another selection is gel and flooded. But mine are sealed, so I'm going to set that sealed. So 200 amp hours, and they're sealed batteries. So that's set. Move forward. Now you may have noticed on the tracer that there are six terminals. Positive, negative for the solar panels. Positive, negative for the batteries. And positive, negative for running lights, LED lights. Nothing, you shouldn't run anything powerful on those last two terminals. They're only meant for something that's very negligible and they're, they're used for LED lights. So you would program when you would want your lights to turn on and turn off. And usually you'll see, when you see a tracer, you usually see that no one has really connected those. They usually just hook up their lights to their battery. But that's what, that's for, that's what this is for. Uh, the hookup LED lights. So let's see where we're at. Right now, you know, it's in the morning. I'm not getting really much of anything. 14.2 volt, 0.6 volts, really nothing. Um, the battery is at 12.9 volts. I'm not getting any amperage coming in. And so, as you can see, you know, you know, we discussed that already. This is the draw, actually. Of you know, I have some voltmeters hooked up, and so point two is the draw. And I'm probably going to disconnect those later on, but I have just hooked this up, and I just wanted to get a general, a verification of this meter against those other meters. And they're pretty accurate. This is accurate. It's, it, you know, it's a verification. And then I'll disconnect those and I'll really just be using this one. Now, if I have concern, I'll just hook up one voltmeter so I'm able to peek in. But right now, uh, I'm probably be just using this unless I decide to hook up a, you know, a relay switch. So this is the MT5 meter. And so there you go.